say it because it's not my night. So um, I will say welcome to CSU Monterey Bay. This is CSU Monterey Bay, and this is CSU Monterey Bay, whether some people like it or not. My name is Vito. I've been the chairman for the events work group for the last three years, and uh, I'd like to say that it's an honor for the events work group and for myself uh, to be collaborating with Semana de la Raza for the third year in a row. Um, I'm going to invite Estella to the stage in just a moment. She can tell you more about that. Uh, tonight's event is on the topic of perpetual war, U.S. state-sponsored terrorism, and the limits of academic dissent. There will be a question and answer period after the lecture. There's a microphone over here in the corner, and also in this corner. We're going to have people line up, and we'll alternate left and right, left and right, left and right. And when you're formulating your questions, I'd like you to please try to formulate them along the lines of tonight's topic. Well, you know. Uh, this is, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, this is an event sponsored by the Events Work Group of CSU Monterey Bay and the CSU Monterey Bay Mecha. So please turn off your cell phones. Cell phones. Make sure they're off. And there will be no flash photography this evening, if you don't mind. And if everyone's settled, then I'd like to invite Estella to the stage from Mecha. Welcome, everybody. My name is Estella Hernandez. I am currently one of the co-chairs for uh, CSUMB's Mecha. El Movimiento Estudiantil Chicano de Aslan, also known as Mecha, is a 36-year-old uh, national organization here at CSUMB. MECHA has been an active organization since 19, 1996. Amongst our missions, we dedicate special effort to promoting Chicano-Chicano culture, multiculturalism, and consciousness raising through higher education. Semana de la Raza is a week-long series of events typically held on the first week of May. Semana de la Raza highlights and celebrates Chicano-Chicano culture and promotes social and political awareness. Uh, these events vary from guest lectures, art exhibits, and festivals. Almost all events are free, and all events are open to the CSUMB community and the surrounding communities. This year, our Año Semana de Raza theme, Revolutionizing the Globe, Educación, Cultura y Paz. Amongst our events include a film showing of Discovering Dominga and uh, live entertainment. We also have a Lunada on Wednesday when, with live band Floricanto, Piñatas, Games, and more. On Cinco de Mayo, we have a celebration in the main campus quad, and we also have an evening of Cultura, Arte, and Musica at night. On Friday, we have a fa founding faculty recognition and the showing of American Me. On Saturday, May 7th, we have Pachanga 10 at, here in the UC Ballroom and open to the public. For today, we have invited us our keynote speaker, Professor Ward Churchill. Ward Churchill. <laughs> Ward Churchill, a Quito, Quitoa, excuse me, Van Cherokee, is a professor of American Indian Studies and former chair of the Ethnic Studies Department at the University of, of Colorado at, Bo at Boulder, where he, was, he has worked since 1978. He is also on the Leadership Council for the American Indian Movement of Colorado. He has authored, co-authored, and edited more than 20 books, including A Little Matter of Genocide, Holocaust and Denial in the Americans, 1492 to the Present. Acts of Rebellion, The War Churchill Reader, 
and agents of repression, the FBI's secret wars against the Black Panther Party and the American Indian Movement. He has received numerous, numerous writing and teaching awards. As of 2001, was the most cited scholar in his field. In 2004, Professor Churchill was named runner-up for the Gustavus Myers Award and best writing on human rights for On the Justice of Roosting Chickens, Reflection on the Consequence of U.S. Imperial Arrogance and Criminality, and was inducted into the Martin Luther King Collection of Scholars. Please join me in welcoming Professor Ward Churchill. Osio, Osiju, hello my relatives. Good to see you here. I bring you greetings from the Kutua Band of Cherokee, my people, from Colorado chapter of the American Indian Movement, of which I'm a part, and from Gorthy Las, otherwise known as Leonard Peltier, who tonight as I speak to you, continues to sit in a cage to federal prison at Leavenworth, Kansas not for anything anyone, including even his prosecutor, at any point in the past 20 years has been prepared to say they believe he actually did, but rather as a symbol of the arbitrary ability of the federal government of the United States to repress the legitimate aspirations to liberation of indigenous people within its claimed boundaries. And note the emphasis there is on claim. There's a difference between a claim and a reality. And that difference is something we'll be talking about a bit tonight. And that difference accounts for what it is that Leonard was struggling against to put him in that cage. Put him in a cage to send a message. And that message is, if you stand on your rights, if you actually struggle for, exercise your rights, there's costs and consequences. And I got about 4,000 emails over the last, oh, I don't know, 90 days reaffirming that point. Of course, I believe in free speech, but with free speech come consequences. Well, hot news flash, all you constitutional scholars out there, if there's consequences, those are costs. And if there's costs, it ain't free. 